Hey, so since my last video, I have successfully used ChatGPT to create a animated car and the animations are LED lights. It's got headlights and taillights and brake lights and it's got um, turn signals too. It turned out pretty cool. I'm quite pleased with it. It looks very lifelike sitting on my desk. It runs on USB power, that's all it needs and it will randomly illuminate its brake lights and also randomly blink left and br uh, blink right and for random amounts of time. And sometimes just uh, headlights and taillights will be on as well. Um, I was able to use ChatGPT to write the code with me. It did a lot of the heavy lifting. I had to make several edits manually and through prompt requests and it turned out really cool. But anyway, I bring all of this up to say that ChatGPT is an amazing labor-saving device. It saved me, uh, at my level of coding, probably five to 10 hours of figuring out how exactly to write this code and uh, then figuring out the mistakes that I made and how to get it to do new things that I wanted it to do. Um, the whole project took probably five hours and most of that was, well, I would say it was about half um, prompting ChatGPT to write the code for me and then fixing the things that it got wrong. And also the other half was actually um, wiring the LEDs into the car itself and into the microcontroller and making it all work together. But again, I'm quite pleased with how it turned out. So with new tools like ChatGPT, which I believe is probably just the tip of the iceberg for what will come over the next uh, 24 months or so. We have some awesome labor-saving tools. ChatGPT can write code, it can uh, write scripts. There's actually a whole list of ideas that people have come up with for awesome ways to use ChatGPT. I will link that in this video, it's on GitHub. But, I think that right now, especially considering the economic climate, is a great time to be working on your own thing. And so I am going to be working on my own thing. Um, it is a side project from my main sources of income. And uh, if it works in this environment, imagine what it will do once prosperous times are here. And I would encourage you to think along those lines as well. What is a side project or business idea that you can start now and iterate on now that if it works will have lots of upside once the, um, the economy gets better and inflation starts to go away and there's more and more disposable income from corporations and individuals. So. What I'm going to do is work on um, expanding this little project as an art project where I'm going to be animating things with LED lights. I've always really liked um, lights in models and I want to see what I can do with this idea now that I've got uh, my first version of the code that can animate the lights on a car. What else can I make? And is there a market for it? Do people want a cool little model on their desk that lights up in random ways and uh, can be entertaining. And on a more macro level, I want to start telling you all about the things that I've learned in business since I went self-employed uh, starting in 2015. So I've learned a lot of lessons along the way and I think it would be a good idea for me to share some of them with you. And maybe if you're starting a project now, maybe if it's in your plan to come up with a side hustle or start a business, maybe some of the things that I talk about will help you too. Because believe me, I've made a lot of wrong turns and a lot of mistakes, and I found some things that work. So I wanna share those with you, and in coming videos, I will be talking more about the uh, pursuit of creative projects and business and the side hustles of all scales. Thank you for watching. Expect that to be the new theme of the content here is 
um, exploring the, the edges of technology, building cool little things, as well as talking about developing yourself, developing your business, or developing your hobby, or building your creative pursuit. This is a great time to be building. Things are really tough right now, and whatever works right now seems like it will have probably an evolutionary advantage uh, for when things are more prosperous and more peaceful. I think the groundwork is to be done now. So that's what I'm gonna do. I would encourage you to as well if that's the way you're inclined. Thanks for watching. Talk to y'all again soon. Love y'all.